Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review in today's video. I'm taking a look at the Black Mamba Saviour. Uh, never had anything from Black Mamba before. I believe they are a new knockoff company. Uh, now there is rumour flying around that they are a subsidiary of Waijang. I don't believe this is the case. I believe they're actually a subsidiary of another company, I don't know, maybe uh, Kubumbao or BBQ, something like that. It doesn't feel like a Waijang product, uh, but at the same time, it's definitely not a bad knockoff. It feels pretty much like a Hasbro product. That being said, this is, of course, a knockoff of the Transformers 5, the last night Voyager, Optimus Prime, and yeah, He's not half bad. The biggest glaring problem in my books is that uh, head sculpt. It's just the eyes. They're just that horrible, horrible, bold blue. But unfortunately, this is pretty much an exact copy of the Hasbro version. That does have those ghastly eyes. It's a shame, really, because the mold itself is very nice. I mean, I love the added paint applications there on that chest section. These are die cast as well. We've got these flames across the chest. Really nice highlighted paint detailing there. The actual detail on him is really nice. It's a very good likeness. You've got this really nice raised up section either side of the neck. Very similar to his screen model. We have more die cast on the forearm sections. Again, with this flame decal, do like these nice shoulder tab sections. I can't help but feel that his weapons are far too small. It feels like an itty bitty tiny shield. I'm used to having this really big chunky shield, like what we got with the like what we got with the Age of Extinction Knights Optimus Prime, and we've got a sword, and we do have a very nice sword holder sculpted into the back and again looking at the size of the sword though it's really quite small uh, decoration and sculpt is quite nice nice paint applications there very bold red going on um, but it's just so small i have no idea why it's such a small sword i mean it fits into the hand okay. I'm assuming, I, I don't own the Hasbro original of this. I just can't bring myself to pay the equivalent of 50, 60 dollars for a small Voyager scale figure. Now that unfortunately is the best I'm gonna get it in his hands as well. I physically cannot force it any further into the hands. We have like a hexagonal slot in the hands and the sword itself is not hexagonally shaped so it's kind of push it in and hope for the best I guess <laughs> that is literally as far into the hands as it will go which is a shame because we have a lot of articulation on this and it would have been nice to be able to bring these both forwards both into the center and slide the sword down between the two uh, this is the sort of size it should have been to begin with but that being said this doesn't really have anything extra to add to the table really if you already own the voyager version of optimus prime do you really need this figure uh, i'm not sure i mean let's take a look at what he has to offer yes he has the nice paint details on the chest here and it's a good sculpt the actual engineering on it uh, especially when it was a Voyager size, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the head is a mess. There is no avoiding that at all. Uh, coming down to the legs, they haven't done anything with the feet. The feet are still ghastly. There's no die cast in the feet at all, and I hate the colour of them. There's just nothing even remotely nice about the feet at all. I love the way the wheels are now hidden away inside the legs as opposed to being huge kibble-tastic sections on the back here. I like how all of this comes down 
tabs down and yes it's still a backpack but it's a relatively tidy backpack i would have liked uh, more of this kind of metallic -y, almost a chrome sheen on the smokestacks but unfortunately that's not the case really like how the shoulder pads can be maneuvered accordingly uh, however you see fit to pose him uh, it's a very good looking prime but i just can't get around why make the effort to enlarge the prime and give him the extra paint decals on the chest and then go ahead and make a hasbro accurate head with those garish soul burning eyes and my next complaint is the size they've upscaled a voyager but when is an upscaled figure not upscaled enough when we have hasbro and takara giving us a masterpiece style Bayverse Prime and we have the likes of Kuban Bao giving us the oversized AD31 last year uh, that's kind of what I was expecting especially with the likes of Renderosa uh, already being out and in the mix in a lot of people's collections you would have thought that they would have looked at the current market and at least made him semi scale with Megatron, I guess. <laughs> but like I said, I don't have the original Voyager, so maybe this size is appropriate for Prime. I mean, from the bottom to the top of his smokestacks, you're looking around 23 centimeters, that's about nine inches. And weight wise, we're looking at 270 grams, that's 9.54 ounces. All right, enough hating on Prime, let's cover his articulation. Let's remove the sword and shield right, the head actually has a great range we can look up and down left and right really nice free motion there the shoulders are on a friction joint going up and down we can come out to the side as previously mentioned the shoulder pads are ball mounted with a hinge so we can put them wherever we see fit uh, we have an upper bicep rotation we have a nice bend this section here is die cast unfortunately the hands are in a fixed position the chest butterfly joint that is part of the transformation though but it can come in handy when you're trying to bring the arms round to the front if the sword was big enough the waist can rotate very freely probably one of the freest waist rotations i've seen from the movie prime in a long time the legs can come out to the front we can come out to the side we do have some clearance issues here with the back kibble we have an upper thigh rotation uh, bend ish at the knee not a great range there and coming down to the feet unfortunately what you see is what you get no real forward and backwards motion nothing really to the side that is a shame now, all those faults aside he actually has a cracking silhouette and shape to him and does look really nice on display so props to hasbro or Takara, whomever actually designed this. Right, let's get Optimus transformed up into his truck mode. You want to pull away the chest section, it comes away from the waist and from the shoulders, whip the head inwards, the arms facing downwards. You want to untab those from the chest hinge, bring this section around, bring the arm around like this, lift this piece up, and you want to rotate this up and over. And it's meant to tab on this tab here, but for the life of me, can't get this side to tab in this one went in absolutely fine but i cannot get this one to line up but we're going to bring these around to the front lift the roof panel upwards rotate the waist around lift this piece up rotate the legs at the thigh joint untab the truck wheel bring that down to the front rotate this lower foot section so the truck wheel is now in line with the center of the crotch push the toe upwards and this tab here should he says tab in to the slot on the leg oh that was a tight joint rotating this back up this should now be able to be brought back up to this position and flip around the front of the truck mode bring the torso section backwards so it's sitting upright and tab 
the leg sections from the side. There's a tab and a slot just on the leg. So we can line that up and push that into place. Untab these die cast sections from the wrists and they're gonna rock forward and cover off the hands. Those die cast forearm sections then tab in to the fronts of the grill. And then we can just bring these pieces together and tab those in firmly. Now you're meant to then bring this piece round on its ball mount, swing it over, and that's meant to form half of the trailer hitch. Um, gotta love bootlegs, haven't you? I've only got one. <laughs> the one is, other one is missing. I have contacted TF Direct, and they're going to send one out my next parcel. But yes. Um, Mine was missing, so that, that would have been part of the trailer hitch. Oh dear, we can then bring the side pieces in. There's tabs along the side, which allows us to make sure everything lines up correctly and looks all official-like. <laughs> Tab that in, and we can just bring this roof panel canopy section over. I have to apologize if some of my lorry truck uh, lingo isn't correct. I used to work on an IMV, which is a kind of a, a dock um, port shipping company version of a lorry. It's a single uh, section of a cab. It's half a cab basically, but it has like the fifth wheel and the trailer sections. And but it doesn't have the full cab. But yes, there we go. There is a pretty good looking vehicle mode actually that's a very nice version of the truck i love the wide wheel arches and i love how sloped it is it's actually a very good alt mode so again props to the original voyager version and i suppose you can still carry your sword in there uh, we do have the kind of standard sword carrying facility underneath and we actually have a section for the shield as well, which is always a very welcome piece. It just tabs in nicely underneath where the feet join. And there we go, there is your Black Mamba Optimus Prime. Uh, folds aside, it's a pretty nice figure, and you get what you pay for with these, basically. And had I have had both trailer hitches, um, it's a little thin in places. It doesn't really squish and tab as it's meant to, but it's pretty good value for money. You know, I, I don't regret buying it. I think it's a pretty nice figure. Um, doesn't really roll very well. Uh, it's more a nice display piece, I think. Uh, the bolt mode was good, but it just wasn't quite right. Uh, it, it's just not as nice as that KBB AD 31L or the plus, you know, the oversized Silver Knight Optimus Prime. I think that was a really good effort on Takara's behalf. And I like what they did with the mold. I like how they changed things around. I love the ability to maneuver the shoulder pads and the kibble is really that much better than what it's been. They really managed to slim that down. But at the same time, they should have changed the head. Uh, it's just not in keeping with the rest of the paint applications. And it just doesn't really hold together in vehicle mode as well as it should. And lengthwise, we're looking at around 23 centimeters in length. That's the same as it was in robot mode, which is interesting. Again, which is about nine inches. I don't have uh, many movie figures to hand unfortunately most of those are being packed away ready for sales uh, but you know maybe it would scale quite nicely with the deluxe size figures i know the deluxes are fairly small in the last night toy line so maybe it'd scale pretty well with those but i already know there's another cheap bootleg version of this on the market with lights and sounds and uh, that's around 30 centimeters in height so they're getting bigger uh, but personally, I'd wait to see what Kubumbao or Wai Zhang bring to the table. With companies like that, you're guaranteed a 
good solid figure with fantastic paint applications and those minor adjustments which are lacking from the oversized knockoffs such as Black Mamba's first attempt. Thanks again to the guys at TF Direct for making this review possible. If you're a diehard Optimus Prime fan and you would still like this, I've included a link in the description below of where you can purchase it. And until next time, from myself and Saviour, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.